All right, y'all, so I totally suck. I totally forgot to set up the camera. Wait, it's kind of blurry. Totally forgot to set up the camera whenever we were doing her OT, but her OT went really well. Um, she was really pleasantly surprised by her neck and her trunk control. Um, so now instead of holding her underneath her armpits, we're focusing on middle back to lower back and just having her work her core a lot more. But overall, it went really well. Um, she showed her that she could roll. She grabbed at some toys, but didn't really grab too much on her back. Um, she just wasn't really in the mood. She just kept putting her fist in her mouth. She's a little slobber machine these days. But yeah, everything went great. Um, she said that we should take her on walks or maybe to like to the park for like 15 minutes a day so she can just get a feel of textures. So um, having her barefoot's been really good too. So she's been able to feel those different textures of the different floors that we have, carpet, wood, etc. cetera. Um, but yeah, so maybe tonight we'll take her on a quick little walk or maybe I'll baby carrier. And then um, if I, like maybe our driveway, I'll let her feel the concrete on that while some floor and play or something. But I'm getting a workout in while she's taking her nap. I have the baby monitor right there. That's her little back of her head. She's sleeping. All right, I'm back. Um, so she woke up and I didn't get to finish that last portion of my workout, which is like the more cardio session of the workout. And instead, got her up, um, fed her, had lunch, then we did PT, OT stuff as usual, played. And then she just went down for a nap. So I'm gonna try to get this in because I promised myself that I'm going to try to at least do something once a day. And if I can finish the entire workout, even if it's not all at once, those box jumps like holy cow I don't know if it's from those squats before because I've done box jumps since um, since she's been born it's, hopefully I can look back at this in a few months and be like holy cow that was so hard before and look how far I've come now here's to hoping that I continue this workout journey because it's it's hard it is hard it's hard to find time but then it's not I guess I say it's hard to find time, but she's taking a nap right now, and although I could be doing things like cleaning, whatever, I can do that when she goes to bed, and I'm not going to want to work out when she goes to bed. So, yeah, it's all about finding time, and I need to make this more of a priority because it's not just about look good, feel good. It's about being healthy and feeling healthy, too. Like, I have felt like such a blob, and I've been working out here and there, but just not very consistently, so hopefully I'll keep that going. All right, y'all, so Penny's down for sleep. Um, she's in pajamas for the first time, which is pretty cute. I'll post a picture. But I'm gonna try to cut my husband's hair. Um, it's a lot better if we try to cut his hair ourselves or myself. That way he's not in a room with a bunch of people. There's Barber. So it's just trimming the top though, so. I don't know. I think I can do it. I watched like a Brad Mondo video. I watched two of them. So we'll see what happens. I don't know what I'm doing. I you need to sit in a small chair. If you don't know what you're doing, then don't do anything. Well, you said you said you can't. You seriously can't f it up. You can't. Friday morning um, we went for a walk this morning with the dog she had to take her morning nap and just fed her so we're gonna go check out my husband's hair though okay wait first off can <laughs> bloody nose <laughs> can we check out the hair looks pretty good I did a good job okay so her occupational therapist said it'd be really good for her to continue putting textures and stuff on her feet so 
today's first time Penny is going to be touching grass. It's going to be the cutest thing ever. Okay. Well. Oh. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> what do you think? All right, y'all. So I suck, and I charged my camera. I am the worst for charging this battery and I was supposed to take this camera to Jackson's game on Sunday and I was gonna get some footage there I wasn't gonna vlog there because that's just awkward but I totally forgot I left the camera at home but um, finally picking up the camera today and it's Tuesday and sister girl is having issues with her nap I mean she already went through her four-month regression is it possible to have another regression like three weeks later I don't know but she's sleeping on the monitor Anyway, so um, just wanted to hop on and tell you guys a funny story that happened. So on Saturday or Sunday, I think it was on Sunday, during the game, um, this is just shows how much human interaction that I've had with anybody older than four months in a really long time. So we're at the game and this little girl comes up to me and she's a sister of one of the kids on the team. And she says, hi i want you to meet so and so um which is her uncle and so <laughs> i was holding penelope my daughter um and we were walking by and so i introduced myself and instead of like you know a normal human being would say you know my name's crystal nice to meet you shake your hand or whatever it is no i didn't do that y'all you know what i did this is what i did y'all that's legit that's what i did i went hi because this is literally how i talk to my child every single day all day because it's just me here with her i don't hang out with anybody because of covid and you know she's a baby and i literally like hunched over just like this and said hi I was mortified. I literally just stopped dead in my tracks and I looked at him and I was like, oh my gosh, I am so sorry. I, I, I haven't talked to other adults in a really long time. Um, so then Sunday, the rest of the day, we I came home um, because it was just really hot. It's like 90 degrees here and it's really humid and it's just too hot for her. I think one game was good enough. Um, we can usually do back-to-back -back games, but there was a break between his first game. When I say his, is Jackson our son um there was there was a, like a one and a half hour break and then it was the next game and there's no way that we were going to be there for like the duration of three total games it was just too much for her so i'm cooking lunch right now and it's like 2 p.m or 2 30 because she's having like i said she's having like fits going down so anyway i was going to record her pt today totally forgot because she had meltdown before her nap and it took forever to get her down ended up just letting her sleep on me i know bad mom right but i let her sleep on me in the rocking chair because i wasn't gonna fight her because she had pt and i needed her to have rest before pt so that's why i forgot to take out the camera and i was gonna record that session but i didn't get to and yeah my husband started back at work this week and so it's been mainly just me and her until he comes home but super exciting day today so today is tuesday it is let me look at the date because i don't know it it's june 16th and today is the last day of her taking phenobarbital which is her seizure medication um she's been off of the morning dose and yeah she's been off of the morning dose for a week now and she's been weaning for eight weeks so this is the last week of her eight week weaning process which is so exciting so so exciting it's gonna be awesome to let her go to bed when she's tired instead of pushing her to stay awake to a specific time frame because she was taking meds seven and seven so super amped that this is her last day of being on that nasty nasty medicine and just so thankful to the lord that she no longer has seizures and doesn't have to be on it anymore so it's kind of crazy to think that she's been on phenobarbital since she was five days old and now she is four months old and she's been taking it basically her whole life so super excited about that but 
Um, yep, I'm going to film that and then, yeah, we'll film that later tonight. And also super proud of myself because I've been drinking this green juice every single morning. I've been drinking about um, 80 ounces of water or so every day. And I've also been doing something active every day. So I've been trying to lift a lot. Um, if y'all don't know, I have that PRX equipment. So I do all the PRX workouts. And on days that I'm like really sore, I'm like, oh, I don't want to lift today. I'll just do like their body weight and stuff and just to get my muscles going, nothing hard just to really stretch them out. That's really all I'm doing for, but I've been doing it every day for, I think it's been five days now. Um, but yeah, you mamas know the struggle of working out postpartum. It's really hard mentally, emotionally, and of course physically. So especially I came from a place where I was working out a whole lot and then towards the end of the pregnancy, I decided to stop just because, um, and I didn't want to put myself into labor that's what I was scared of and that's why I just like totally stopped working out towards the end but anyways so I'm going to eat lunch um husband made turkey burgers um with vegan cheese and I'm gonna have cauliflower rice on the side and probably some fruit chug another 15 to 20 ounces of water and I'm probably gonna sit here and scroll on tiktok for the next rest of her nap hopefully that's gonna be longer than her 30 minute naps as of late and would like to fold some laundry too. So anyways, see you guys little. Okay, big girl, it's your last day of your seizure land. Are you excited? <laughs> yeah? Okay. What's today? June 9th? June 16th. Today's June 16th already? The last day. Last day of peanut barb. No more seizure meds, huh, sweet girl? Yeah. Are you excited? No more yucky medicine? Why don't you record this with your camera or your phone? Last day of meds. Ready, Bucky? Come here. It's the last day of seizure meds. Hmm. Look out here. I know it's yucky. It's your last one. No more. Hi. Good job. Hi. You're done. <laughs> Good job. Good job, Penelope Rose. What do you think, huh? Say all done. Say no more meds for me. Say no more phenobarb at all. Is that right? Yes. Sweet girl. <laughs> Good job. All right, y'all, so that's it for this week's vlog. Um, if you liked it, give it a big old thumbs up. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next video, and I will see you guys next week. Bye, y'all.